Guys, I'm back again. My name is Shantanu, and today I want to take few minutes of yours to talk about how to enable continuous integration and deployment in Visual Studio Team Services. So let's get started. So over the screen, you can see that uh, this this is my personal blogging site uh, that is cloudcalendar.wordpress.com. At the end of the video, I'm gonna I'm gonna share a link so that you can uh, share your thoughts or comments um, onto the recent blogs or uh, scripts which I have shared. Uh, so basically, these are the activities or uh, the developments which have been performed in the area of DevOps uh, by me. So you can see that there are a lot of handy scripts and blogs being shared. Uh, la latest one being configured auto shutdown. Uh, this is this is basically a script uh, to to schedule auto shutdown in Azure VM to save cost during uh, weekends and weekdays. Uh, so yeah, um, that's it. That's it about the, the about the blogging site. We're gonna get started. What is uh, continuous integration and how to create automated builds and deployments? This is part of one of the video where I'm gonna show you how to create a build, and in the next part we'll sh uh, share you how to how to we'll show you how to um, how to enable continuous deployment. So 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 to start off with, continuous integration is nothing but a automated build whenever new code is checked in by uh, the developer. And uh, so continuous uh, deployment or delivery means starting an automated deployment process whenever a new successful build is available. Uh, information can be, these all information can be can be found out over, over here in the Microsoft blog. And uh, and yeah, um, so th for the purpose of the guide, I've created a, um, a, a, a trial uh, account in the Visual Studio account and uh, i have created a project so from here you can create a project and that's the name of my project demo for my viewers and and i have kept my code over here so that's a one liner uh, uh one liner powershell file uh, where i have saved uh, the code for your purpose you can save all your files over here by clicking on these three buttons and upload files or download the f uh, the package or create a new file so this the, the here we would have all our code basically the dlls uh, the libraries executables uh, which is associated with the, with your project uh, for the purpose of the guide i've created just one file that is hello world.ps1 uh, where i uh, where i'm going to save my project or the code so i've saved it and now i'm going to create a build so build is nothing which would which would package your code and would be ready to ship to the environment. So we create a new definition. Uh, for the purpose of the guide, we're gonna choose empty process. Get source, make sure it is picking the code from the right repository. We're gonna add the task, go to utility. Since this is uh, ours, a power, uh, our code is, is basically a PowerShell uh, script. So we're gonna add the PowerShell task file path give it a f uh, give it th give the name of the script this that's gonna be the script um, arguments if any advanced control we can we can see th all the working folders or control option we want to enable or disable the task so tasks are basically nothing but uh, but 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 the action which co which is going to be performed by your uh, build definition to 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 package and do modification with your code once once uh, your code has been is being built all these all these codes uh, code are being saved in in artifacts so what are artifacts artifacts are uh, are nothing but the file which are which are needed to be produced file which are needed to be the code which is need to be packaged artifacts can be nearly anything your team needs to test or deploy your out app could be your dlls executables uh, PDB symbols, files, uh, uh, .NET supported files. So I'm gonna I'm gonna create an artifact that is uh, build publish build artifact. Give it the path that's gonna be my PS file name. Could be drop or could be uh, for the purpose of the guy I'm giving it a drop. It's gonna be show server, and I'm gonna save it. So as soon as I hit the save button, so you see that it is it is being this is something called agent queue. So agent queues are nothing uh, but a machine, a virtual machine, or or an on-premises machine which uh, which uh, 
creates the build so for this purpose since it's it's a it's a free account microsoft gives an agent with with this account this is probably hosted in azure um, so you can use your own build agent that is your own virtual machine as well could be your on premises virtual machine uh, machine or a machine which is hosted on a public cloud called uh, azure amazon or google cloud so in next few seconds we're going to see that our build agent uh, is has successfully created and uh, packaged our code in the form of artifacts um, we're gonna wait uh, until us until uh, this is this finished so I'm gonna show you how to enable continuous integration so you can see that uh, build agent has started to create uh, uh, the uh, the the build for us so basically these are the activities which is being performed by the agent right at the moment it first it uh, get the source code from this task then it uh, creates uh, creates an artifact from this powershell script and then it drop it to the uh, artifact task this should be done so build has been succeeded we if we go to build agent we can see in our artifacts explore and we will see that our code has been packaged so that's that that was our code which we saved initially so now uh, we gonna we're going to enable continuous integration which means whenever a code is checks in checks in or committed by a developer be, uh, build definition would automatically create a package for you you don't have to do it manually so we're go going to go to trigger and enable this and hit save button enabled um, auto CI hit save oops I'm gonna zoom in a bit yeah so we have hit the save button now whenever we we write a co piece of code we change something on our file Visual Studio would be intelligent enough to create a package for us so we're gonna go to code and pick our new code and save it to our hello world file check in so our code has been successfully committed now we should be able to see our build is automatically so you see in progress so our code is successfully being started to build by the agent we did not have to do anything as soon as you commit your code visual studio would automatically build uh, your code for you all right so we're gonna wait for a couple of couple of minutes as all right so it is it is it is it is going to start it has started um building the project for you so you see uh, the build has been successfully finished we go to artifacts we go to explore we go to hello world ps and download the code we'll see the exact piece of code which we have written couple of seconds back you see so this is this code is different from what what was checked in before all right so that's that that's that's all about how a uh, uh, build is being created automatically this is called continuous integration and in in the next part of the video we're going to show you how to create an automated uh, deployments using these builds um, so stay tuned uh, thanks for watching this video hope this was informative for you uh, we're going to see you in the next video thank you